Peristaltic pumps are often used in laboratories, environmental protection, food processing, pharmaceuticals, machinery manufacturing, and other industries to dispense water or other liquids at adjustable flow rates. And their service life and efficiency are among the most important factors to consider in selection. When the pump is not in service for a long time, it'd be better to remove the roller, shoe, or lobe that keeps squeezing the flexible tube or holes. When the peristaltic pump is operating, the rollers housed in the pump head are designed to repeatedly squeeze the holes. And each time the roller moves away, a section of the holes near the inlet will return to the original size, causing a vacuum to generate suction for transporting fluids. Therefore, if you want to ensure the desired performance of the pump tube during its service life, relax the tube to its original shape as much as possible when the pump is not in use, so as to minimize the deformation, thereby prolonging the service life of the pump tube. Select peristaltic pumps with flow rates no higher than 300 rpm if possible. As the peristaltic pump generates flow rates from rotating rollers, you could choose to wing with larger diameter to lower the rotation speed and make for a longer life of the tube or hose. Yet this will diminish accuracy. It's important to figure out which factor is of more significance when buying a peristaltic pump: service life. Or dispensing accuracy. Use the specialized tube at the pump head, and use ordinary tubing for other connecting sections. The squeezed section of tubing in the pump head should deliver excellent anti-compression, resilience, and tear resistance capabilities. For this reason, there are high requirements for the tubing, like sufficient wall thickness and shape accuracy, which leads to the high prices of peristaltic pump tubing. Whereas the tubing for the rest of connection doesn't necessarily adopt such sophisticated design, and their prices are much lower. You should balance the affordability and practicability of these two kinds of tubing when making a purchase. The length of the pump tubing extending from the inlet should be kept short as possible. The joint size and tube diameter should not be less than those of the inlet and outlet of the pump head. Since the pump suction is produced by the vacuum created in the restored tube, if the tube at the inlet has a too long passageway or too small diameter for the pump liquid to flow in, the increasing resistance to suction thereby will impede the restoration of the tube, sharply decreasing the actual flow rate and working efficiency. Likewise, if the tube diameter gets too small or the passageway is too long at the outlet. The pump discharge pressure will decline, therefore creating more output electric resistance and reducing the flow. The available flow rate of peristaltic pump should be 30% greater than the flow rate required. The remarkable flexibility of tubing determines that it generates little negative pressure and discharge pressure. If you're about to pump some viscous fluid or the tube passageway is a bit longer than normal, you'll get lower flow rates. In order to reach the desired flow rate, the flow rate available should be slightly higher than flow rate required. Clean the debris on the pump casing and tubing before using the pump. Peristaltic pump is a precision instrument, of which the cleanliness and smoothness of the inner tubing wall determines the accuracy of the pumping action. If there is some damage to the tubing, it's possible that the pump liquid will stick to the roller, shoe, or tube. Changing the length of tube between rollers. It should be noted that even a tiny change can cause premature wear to the tube. Any damage to the tube, residue on the inner wall, as well as suction pressure of the tube, will all make a difference to dispensing accuracy. Fluids of different qualities need to be pumped with appropriate tubing. Pump tubing made of different materials comes with different anti-corrosion performance. So that you need to choose the right tubing based on the specific medium you intend to pump. In doing so, the peristaltic pump could last longer. In addition to the pump itself, many other factors also need to be considered, like environmental ones, 
tubes composed of different materials have different temperature resistance. For example, silicon tubes can withstand a wide range of temperature, suitable for high and low temperature processing, while some other tubes are only appropriate for working within a narrow range of temperature. Users should get knowledge about the working temperature of the pumping system, so as to ensure that the selected tubal holes can function well within the given temperature range, thus prolonging the service life of the device. Please visit ato.com to check out our massive selection of highly efficient and reliable peristaltic pumps that are designed for medical, laboratory, and industrial uses. Our products are available with a wide range of flow options, with some featuring explosion-proof function. Very easy to understand, operate, and maintain. Shop for them today at the best price.